just click here oh. is a mixture of sand and clay, it's not a rock. The holes on the cliff are nests for birds, pied kingfishers, swallows, and red throated bee eaters. And this time round, the breeding season for the bee eaters has just started. So when it's their season, they come and breed in the holes there. You can see some of them are starting to come in. They started coming in yesterday. So after breeding, they will go away, even for the swallows. They only come here for breeding. After breeding, they go. It's the pied kingfishers that stay here all year round. And this cliff was formed millions of years ago due to movements in the continental plates. This is the Albertine Rift Valley. And the Rift Valley escarpment starts where the falls are. From the falls down to Lake Albert, the ground sunk and the falls were formed. And this rift starts at the Red Sea. It comes down through here up to Mozambique. This is the Albertine Rift. And the sister to this rift valley is in Kenya. And that forms the one in Kenya and this one here forms the East African Rift Valley. So this particular cliff is called Nyamisika. That's the native name of the cliff. Nyamisika Cliff. You can see the bee eaters are patched yeah, by their holes there. Yeah. It's now breeding season. They started breeding yesterday. And they are going to stay here up to end of end of Jan or early Feb, then they will go away. They're beautiful birds. These are my favorite birds. They have almost all the seven colors of the rainbow. And those colors, like their name suggests, they are bee eaters. They eat bees. So those colors make them look like flowers so they can attract the bees. Yes, not, they can change. Oh, they, they can change. Yeah, but they will always come here. And these bee eaters are, no, are only found in Uganda. Do they make new homes? They will go into the ones that are already there, right. then they could make a few more new holes. Come from coming here from somewhere within the woods. Mm -hmm. 